Hi guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how I spot clean uh, the hedgehog cages. Now this isn't a full on clean, this is basically what I would do daily um, just to kind of keep their, their cages somewhat tidy until we do the full on clean. So the first thing I do to spot clean the cage, and I'm filming in the top cage because it's easier, um, is take out small things um, because I'm going to vacuum in here and uh, I've had these go up in the vacuum more than once so just take all those out and I'm going to take the water bowl out but I'm going to leave the food bowl in um, because all of the crumbs and stuff and the little extra bit of food that's in there you want to dump this anyway before you put the new food in so I'm just gonna vacuum that out and everything nice and easy so then I'm gonna go ahead and take out the fleece forest now I don't do I don't take this out every single day but I want to get underneath there today so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and that just unhooks from the connectors and then I'm going to go ahead and take him out because his igloo needs cleaned. And that doesn't happen every day either. In fact, usually I just vacuum around him, but he had a bit of a poo explosion last night, so. All right, so now I'm just gonna take out the fleece strips just so that they don't get vacuumed up. And those will just be set aside. I'm not going to wash them or anything this time around. The wheel comes out as well. Because that's another thing that gets cleaned. Now, a lot of the time, I just vacuum around all of this stuff that I just took out. But for showing purposes and because he had a little bit of an explosion yesterday, I'm going to... Uh, leave those things in for you so now i'm just gonna use the vacuum hose to vacuum all of this poo up instead of taking the whole fleece out which um when i'm actually cleaning the cage like when i'm doing the full blown clean i'll take the whole thing out but there's no point in doing it for just a you know, a quick vacuum. So we are fully vacuumed out now, even the bowl. So we can go ahead and put him back in the cage. And I'm just gonna set him right in there in case he decides to walk off. And now we're going to go clean up some of the other things. Alright, so now we're going to get to the actual cleaning and as you can see here we have the igloo, two wheels because um, I'm going to wash everything at once even though I showed you only cleaning the top cage. All the bowls, the two things I use and the sponge and um, basically all that happens here is the wheels get sprayed down uh, with a 50-50 vinegar water mixture just in a spray bottle here and the sides of that get sprayed like that and then those are set off to the side to soak now the reason I don't just dump these in the sink and wash them with a sponge 
is because they're Carolina Storm bucket wheels. Now, with the Carolina Storm bucket wheels, they're homemade and these here can't really get wet. It's not good for the wheel. So by spraying the sides, I'm not actually getting everything in the wheel wet. And then these bowls here will get washed with a sponge. Now I have a sponge specifically set aside for the hedgehogs so that I'm not using my actual grocery sponge. We're gonna get some hot water going. And I'm just using Dawn dish soap, or this is a knockoff Reba brand, whatever. Um, whatever soap you feel like, you can even use the vinegar water mixture. I'm gonna turn this down a little. And literally, I'm just washing out their bowls. Some days I take a baby wipe um, and just like physically wipe them out instead of full on washing them. You really don't want anything damp going into your hedgehog's cage. Um, especially something they're going to use immediately. Sometimes I pop the wheels in slightly damp if, um, if for example, I wash them in the morning because neither one of my hogs get up during the day. Some get up occasionally to eat or drink some water or something like that. Mine stay in until it's pitch black in the room, at which point they will both get up. All right, so moving on to the hedgehog wheels. So those have only soaked as long as it took me to wash the actual, uh, the actual bowls. Now all I do is I take the same sponge I used, preferably with a little less soap in it at this point. And I'm literally, this run so I can rinse it. I'm just wiping it out now. And because this wheel has a smooth surface, that is completely done. Well, not completely done, but all of the poop is out of that. So I'm just going to wipe up. Now when I'm done wiping them out um, with the vinegar and the sponge, I take some baby wipes or Clorox wipes 
or just whatever I happen to have on hand. And I give this another wipe down. You can also just re-spray with vinegar and uh, wipe it down again with like a paper towel or something. And that will work just as well. I also get the base with the wipes. the excess vinegar off of it. It also disinfects a little bit more um, because if you're using a sponge, sponge, sponges carry germs regardless. All right, so now that everything's wiped out, we just, I'm gonna replace the potty pad because it's filthy. We'll just put in a blue one here. And then pop the wheel back in. The toys are all in there. The actual, sorry Blaze. The actual igloo goes back in, and that's full of fleece strips. His igloo cover goes back on. It's okay, baby, go back in. It's all right, you can go back in your room. His fleece forest hooks right back into place. Very easily. And then his bowls get put back in as well. And for his food, He gets the food that his breeder had him on, a tab uh, half a tablespoon of that, which is a Purina food. And then he gets two half tablespoons, so a full tablespoon of the hedgehog mix that I made, which is a, um, it's Blue Buffalo Freedom Indoor Formula and Anova Weight Management Formula. And he gets those mixed together because he is transitioning off of the old food onto the new food. And then his water bowl gets filled up and I use filtered water because if I don't wanna drink this stuff out of the tap. I'm not gonna make them drink out of the tap. Our water's very gross here. And that's it really for spot cleaning. So there's his cage. He's gonna go in his fleece forest. You say hi, Blaze? And obviously his fleece is still dirty. He's due for an actual clean. Um, so tomorrow I'll take this all up and do laundry. There's 
There's the other cage that I haven't really gotten to yet. But just so that you can see, he doesn't have a full forest. He just has a curtain. And he's under... He's under his cuddle cup. And his stuff is all Avengers. And his bowls will go right there. Alright, well that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time.